Just shoot for the stars If it feels right The name for my heart Hey lovies, I have empties for you Worst at filming empties videos each month <laughs> So I thought I would start January out with a full-fledged bang and bring you an empties video and I have quite a few for you guys. The first item I have is the Caress Burnt, what is this? It's the Caress Evenly Gorgeous line. It is the Burnt Brown Sugar and Karite Butter? I don't know. It's the Exfoliating Body Wash. This had a really, really nice scent to it but I did not appreciate it as a body wash. A body wash that lathers up really, really nice, and this just did not do it for me, which is sad because I really enjoyed the scent. I just don't prefer um, the lack of lather. I went through a Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser this is the normal to oily skin. You guys know this is my holy grail daily facial cleanser. It just works for my skin. And I know there's some controversy on this specific brand and whether or not it's actually good for your skin. I understand that there are people out there who say do not put this on your face. But honestly, this is the only thing that has worked for me. So I keep using it and I keep purchasing it and I absolutely love it. Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Hairspray. I've Featured these this specific hairspray in my empties before. I really like the Garnier line. I like the fact that it's anti-humidity um, and that it does have a ultra strong hold. So I really, really like this. Um, I am using something that I am in love with. So it might be replacing this. I will have to see how it holds up when it gets more humid um, because it is just making my life. Through a La Vanilla The Healthy Deodorant. This is in Pure Vanilla. I have gotten as much out of it as I can. I really, really, really like this deodorant and I was surprised. I bought this when... I think it was when they had a duo for the VIB Rouge sale and I picked it up at the recommendation of my friend Karina. Um, her channel is Karina Kaboom. I'll link it below. I wasn't sure how I would like it because it's a little too powdery smelling for my liking but I it has grown on me and I absolutely love used to this now so I can't be without it. I have a, I have, I'm using one right now and I have a backup and this is by far my absolute favorite. Went through, shocking, I know this if you've watched any of my empties, the Equate Original Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes with Vitamin E. You get 60 in a pack. I really, really like these. I always use these. I swear by them. I buy them two packs at a time. Um, I also went through the... A traveling size of the makeup remover cleansing towelettes by Equate. These apparently are similar to the Neutrogena. I liked these, um, but I don't like them more than I prefer the Original Clean. So I won't repurchase those. I went through a Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. This is the Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. My mother-in-law got me this for Christmas and it is gone. I swear by this stuff. Scent is beautiful. It's not overpowering with lavender, so it's just really, really, I don't know. I know it's supposed to, lavender is essentially supposed to like soothe your mind and your body. It's stinking amazing. And because I've been working out a lot more than what I have in the past and I'm doing a lot more strength training, my body and my muscles have just been sore. So I've been running um, a really hot bath a few times a week, adding um, 
two full cups of this stuff and it makes the world of difference. I don't know, it's just really nice after a hectic day and a hard workout to soak in a tub with Epsom salt that smells like lavender because it just is so relaxing and it really prepares me for bedtime. I just really, really like this and I have since repurchased. These are in no particular order. You know how we roll here, friends. Oh, another of the Equate Original Clean. I also went through this Maybelline Clean Express Ultra Gentle Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. This is the oil free. I like this, but um, I'm using coconut oil, which like trumps anything I've ever used. So, so I won't be repurchasing this for the time being. We went through a travel size of our Revitalens multi-purpose disinfecting solution. Um, we use the full size obviously to um, clean our contacts daily and we obviously buy the travel size and love it. We got, went through a Crest Pro Health whitening. I've mentioned this before on my channel. This was our holy grail toothpaste. I saw some sort of thing on Facebook story about how the little like balby things in these like get stuck in your teeth and cause like really bad problems. So of course it scared the heck out of me. And we've since found an alternative to this. So I d haven't repurchased this specific kind, but in the past this was the only toothpaste that we use. It's really nice. And I mean, maybe I should have done more research on those little ball things or actually asked like my dentist, but what? Went through this Ole, Hen Ule, Ole, Ole Henriksen Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. This was a deluxe size sample I got with the Sephora order. I love this stuff. It is, I have another one um, that I, um, I haven't opened it yet but I really, really like this stuff and it has been in my loves on sephora.com for the longest. It literally melts all of your makeup, any remaining makeup left on your skin and really preps your skin for cleansing your face. Have the opportunity to sample some, um, I would strongly suggest it. I don't know if I've ever featured like a makeup product in an empty that I actually worked through. Look at this. This is my Inglot YSM powder, pressed powder in the shade 41. Um, there is like some remnants around here, but I can't get it with my brush. This was a really, really, really nice powder. I raved about it when I was using it's nice. it. Nice. I love it. The only downfall which will prevent me from repurchasing it is that it's so finely milled that it cracks so easily. So if you drop it in the slightest bit that it doesn't agree with, it will shatter. So that's the only reason why um, I would, you know, not consider repurchasing. Two nail polishes. This is the Pure Ice, what is this even in? Looks like rain. It is a green glitter polish with fine glitter particles and chunky glitter particles. It looks like it would be stunning. This is crap. The only thing that comes out on the brush is the clear polish. I bought this to do my nails around the holidays and this was a complete fail for me. It's gotta go. And then the Milani Color Statement Nail Lacquer in the shade Enchanted Emerald. The shade is stunning. I love the shade, but this formula of nail polish for some reason does not work for me. I will paint my nails and then in a couple hours it is Chip City. I use a base coat. I use a top coat. This just does not work for me and um, I won't ever repurchase another um, from this line. So I have this and that other green one and I will pass it on to somebody who may want to give it a whirl. I have a crap ton of mascaras that I am trashing. My mascara that I was using and some of these I couldn't even tell you when I began opening, you know, when I opened them and then um, others, it's just, it's just time. The deluxe samples first. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I had one of these deluxe size samples a while ago and I, 
liked it, bought the full size, and then just for some reason hated it and ended up returning it. Another one in my backup, I thought I would give it, you know, use it, give it a whirl, and then just be done with it. I won't repurchase a full size. It's too much for me, and it transfers terribly to my upper lash line, so I, I don't prefer it. Dior Show Base Mascara, the lash primer. It's a silicone wand. It's Dior's lash primer. I this to me was a waste. I don't know if I got a bad one or what, but this did didn't do anything to my lashes. Anytime I use this, no matter what mascara I used, all of my lashes like clumped to together and it looked like I had like one giant lash. Not down. The Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara. I used a full size of this, I believe in the spring or summer, and I really, really liked it. It's got a nice, the brush dips a little, which I really, really like, but I've since found mascaras that I prefer better, so I won't purchase the full size of this. All of these that I'm about to show you have just expired and round their the bottom course. of your mascara, it'll have this little, like, It looks like a little jar and it's opened and it has a number and then an M next to it. Well, this signifies or this represents like how long you should keep these around once you've opened them. And this is six months. So obviously you should be, I know some people get rid of their mascara every three months, but technically you don't really need to get rid of it until six months. I find that mascara dries between the three and six month mark, so usually about three or four months is when I chuck them. So that's why you're gonna see quite a few that are going to be tossed, just because they are, you know, between three and six months old. YSL Baby Doll Mascara. Whew. I love this. I love the silicone brush. I love that the bristles are short. I love that they grab each individual lash and separate and give length. I really, really like this. Um, I don't prefer it on its own. I prefer using it with a mascara that's volumizing. So I'll go in with the volumizing mascara and then I'll hit it with this at the end to just really separate my lashes. It is a really, really nice mascara. If you ever have the opportunity to pick one up, I highly, highly recommend it. And I know sometimes Sephora does 100 point perks of that. I would suggest picking it up and trying it because it is a beautiful mascara. Or Addict It Lash. I got this in September when I went to Chicago. Silicone brush short bristles. I really, really like this mascara. I really, really like it. If I didn't have so many mascaras piled up in my collection that I needed to work through, I would totally buy this. It just, the brush is amazing. You have to be careful though because I have poked my eye with it on several occasions and that didn't feel great. But I really, really like this. It and the formula isn't dry and it's not wet. It's just like that perfect in between. It's going to coat your lashes so it's going to build volume, but because the brush is silicone and has those shorter bristles that are spread apart, it's going to really grab each individual lash and separate. This is a very nice mascara to use all on its own and it performs even better with a primer. I love this. Well, if you've been with me for any length of time, you know without a doubt, my holy grail mascara is this puppy right here. This is the Josie Marin Argan Black Oil Mascara. This mascara is life. I have backups. I get mine off of QVC. But this mascara, oh my god, I can't even with it. I love the brush. The brush is probably one of the most unique brushes I've ever seen. It's natural bristles, um but you can see they vary in length and size. This just does something amazing for your lashes. If you struggle with very puny lashes and you struggle with getting them to look very full, I highly recommend trying this. Um, I know Sephora sells it. Sometimes um, there are, it does come in kits, so maybe that's a great way for you to try it. So you can try it with some other stuff from Josie Marin, but I would, I would, I would definitely, this comes with my stamp of approval. It's holy grail status for me. I stand by this 110%. Lash Mania Reloaded False Lash Mascara. This was gifted to me 
by Jackie silicone brush it starts skinny and gets wider it has different sized bristles from small to big so it's going to really fan out your lashes giving them that false appearance I really like this again if I didn't have a ton to work through this would be high on my list of repurchasing and it's essence so it's very affordable you can get that at Ulta. The It Cosmetics Hello Lashes I normally love everything from It Cosmetics I haven't met an It Cosmetics product that I didn't like until this are you guys seeing this are you seeing all of that mascara that is collected on that brush? You can't even see the silicone bristles because it is coated in mascara and that is why I'm getting rid of this. I can't even judge the performance of a mascara because I can't even use it. I've used it and it made a sloppy goopy mess. I mean, no. What is your experience with IT Cosmetics mascara? I have the Tightline mascara and I love it. But this to me was a huge, huge letdown. So maybe I got a bad tube, I don't know, not impressed. The Benefit Give Me Brow, Give Me Brow, however, I got mine in the shade Light, Me Dry, and Crusty and Flaky, which is why I'm getting rid of it. But here's the thing, I love the brush. I like to use this and hit the outside portion of my brow just to define the tail and the arch a little bit more. This color, when I had lighter hair, you know, and highlights, this worked. But because obviously I'm more towards my natural tone, it, it just is too light and it looks ashy and sometimes like muddy. So um, I love the product, I love what it does. I just don't prefer the color obviously right now but it is getting dry and flaky so it needs to go but I would I'm definitely going to repurchase this but in the darker shade. Okay, I have a few samples I went through. Yeah. Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I've talked about this before. I really really like this scent. I'm just so weird about perfume like I'll buy one and use it and then when I'm done with it like I'll try something new. This is definitely on my list to try. I just love the way it smells. Oh, I love it. I love it. The Tom Ford in Plum Japonaise hated this. I worked through a little bit up until like that much. It reminded me when you walk into Macy's and that aroma of like 75 different perfumes hits your nostrils. That's what this reminded me of and I sprayed couldn't. it on myself and I was on my way to work and I was like oh god I just made a mistake now I'm gonna have to smell myself and ev everybody else is gonna have to smell me it was just too much if you're into that then you'll love it but if you're not no. this is an all-time favorite I've had this many times and I've gone through many bottles it's the angel by Thierry Mogler I love this stuff this is one of those perfumes that I can smell and it immediately takes me back to like a million different places. Oh my God, love it. And I would definitely add that to my list any day. I would never turn that perfume down. And the last one here is the Giorgio Armani C. I saved this one for last to share with you guys because I liked it so much I added it to my Christmas list and my in-laws actually ended up getting it for me for Christmas. and. I'm living for it, loving it, cannot get enough of it. The Glam Glow Thirsty Cleanse. This is their new cleanser. It's the mud to foam. It's where you put um, it on your face, you let it sit for a few minutes, get some water, and then, so it's like a mask that turns into a cleanser. I love this. I absolutely love this. And I am contemplating buying a full size and incorporating it into my skincare routine because my skin is so dry right now. I think this is something that could really help it. Maybe not so much for every day, but maybe, you know, every other day. I really, really like it. And I would definitely recommend picking up a sample of it from Sephora and trying it. So that is it for my January empties. I know I had a lot and I kind of bulldozed right through them. People like to watch these videos, but I feel like when I sit down to film them, like I forget I should be talking about them more. I don't know. Would you guys like more in-depth description of them or would you just 
like to know, yes, I like this and I would repurchase it and why, or no, I hate it and I won't repurchase it and why. I mean, I don't know. I guess I need to feel and understand the vibe that you guys are wanting from these empties videos just so I know that when you see them in your feed you're not like oh I hate your empties videos I'm not watching so if you could kindly your leave feedback on that in the comments below I would certainly appreciate it as always you guys thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye